Hello everybody, this is WizWorld 100 back again with another Sunday Showcase. And all the votes are in and the game that we're going to play, or at least the system we're going to be playing on is PlayStation 3. Okay, I already spoiled the game. Oh yes, the Super Nintendo penalty is off, but don't go abusing it now. And the game we're going to be playing is Splatterhouse on the PlayStation 3. And just to make it even cooler, and since it's how I'm doing it on the day of Halloween so you won't actually see it until Sunday, so it's kind of lost on that. But anyways, to make it even more special, Splatterhouse t-shirt, signed by Jim Cummings, who, do, who does the voice of the mask in this game, which is, uh, that's kind of odd, but hey, this might be for something cool. So anyways, I haven't actually opened this, so, uh, yeah, Sunday Showcase finally paid off with, uh, getting me to actually play my games. Thanks, guys! Let's see. Hardcore gore, devastating weapons, extreme horror, gruesome splatter kills. The bloodiest game of E3, Kotaku. Killer metal soundtrack, including Mas Masodon, Lamb of God, and Five Finger Death Punch. Fist of the North Star? Unlock all three original Splatterhouse games. One of the reasons why I got this is, uh, it comes with all three originals, so technically, I own all three of them now. Story by comic writer Gordon Rennie, who did Necronauts and Judge Dredd. Bloody, brutal, monster violence. So yeah, let's get around to kicking butt on, uh, Halloween. Oh, fuck it, let's go kill some ass. Alright, so there's something that you need to know. My first recording of this fucking failed. I was pretty much not too happy with, uh, with that happening, but at the same time, I wasn't really satisfied with how it went, so... In a way, it's kind of good it happened, but still, I really, really want to go to sleep right now. Because I just came back from ANC playing, uh, excuse me? And I think I discovered what happened, although I'm too not too sure what happened. So it, it suddenly, like, shut down on recording, I just noticed that it happened. Splatterhouse. Or at the title screen, or image screen. So I played it a little earlier, so a lot of things are going to be spoiled, but on the other hand, at least I know what I'm doing now. Immediate violence stuff. Now, if you don't know about this game, this game is basically a remake of the... of the original game story, but done in, uh, in a different, uh, gameplay style. Now, I'm going to start all over again from... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, you know what? Oh, you know what? Fuck it. Start new game. Do you want to keep your current setup on lock skills? Yes. Override existing data. I picked Savage last time and it's not really that difficult. Is it chugging right now? That's weird. But anyway, so so this game is a remake of the first game, but with the gameplay of the third game, which is a beat-em-up style. And we're dead. We're very dead. Be together forever. She gets her period. Okay, I need to stop making those types of jokes. Look at that tea, it's like... Oh no, the jam. I'm sorry. For being a pussy. He took your girl, Rick. He took your everything. Only thing you got left is your soul. And that belongs to me. Jim Cummings. Yeah, that is actually, uh... The mask is apparently voiced by Jim Cummings, and you can kind of hear it, because it sounds like Pete. And I did get him to sign my shirt, too. I forget if I showed it earlier, but I'll show it again. So strange to hear Jim Cummings like uh to like uh go all swearing out. Cause I'm trying to imagine like Pete saying that, because it sounds like Pete. So this is not gonna go like uh the Jim Carrey mask. And we see the title uh the title again. Oh yes, I mentioned this in the previous one and I'll mention it again. I wanna see a fight between Rick with the mask on and Bane fight. I think it would be a good match. Get that on Death Battle. Also, uh, that Wiz is not the real Wiz, because only I'm the Wiz. You're mine, Rick. You're property of Jim Cummings. You're also a buffed up, uh, steroid induced buff guy. One. Oh, yeah, something like, uh, other games where it's like level stages and mission or whatever, it's phases. What's happening? Like phases of the moon. And I help you get your girl back. It's starting to make his uh, Jim Cummings' voice is starting to make me think of Optimus Prime. Actually, now that I think about it, turns into Wolverine. It's morphin' time. Yeah, all that muscle revealed, like you know, without the skin. So this pretty much just lets us play around for a bit. Oh yes, uh, because I played it beforehand, before the recording just like fucked me over. 
I do have some upgrades uh, on me, like certain moves and uh, what was it? What was it? What was it? What was it? Um, upgrades and health upgrades. Yeah. Basically, I do have some improvements on it here. And the one thing I didn't know was that uh, your health bar is actually on top. It's not actually the bottom bar. Don't ask me why. I thought that was so, because, well, it's red. I assumed that was your life. Oh, yes, there's those little mini achievements. Uh, kind of keep you going. Charge up and... Okay, fine, release. I need to change my controls, too, because apparently it didn't save my controls. It never forgets your first kill. Especially since I have to do it all over again. Too much for you, Rico? Shit. You humans are so fragile. Like, can you imagine P talking like that? That'd be hilarious. Er, no. Wait, what? Controls. Go with A. Oh, yeah, yeah, then it gives you all this stuff to, like, go look at. At first, I got kind of lost with it, and the camera... The camera's not the best there is. Wait, hang on a second. Okay, just a little spoiler. Uh, there are these uh, photos you can find, which, uh... Actually, I think I can I can show it right here. Yeah. Oh, look, I got a sensor too. Basically, uh, there are photo pieces you can find, and uh, well, I apparently didn't find them all either because I was not allowed allowed to find all of it, or the complete piece, or that it's in different uh, levels. But um, this gives me a chance to go find it now that I know they exist. And let's be honest, what kind of man wouldn't want to look for those photos? So I will be farting around quite a bit. Uh, it takes a different. Goes a little differently than the original story. The original story, Rick uh, just finds the mask and then just puts it on as Jennifer gets captured. I don't think you ever hear about the doctor, except, um, I forget where you hear it, but like it doesn't show in the game. I've only played the Turbo Graphics version, it was based on the uh, arcade game. And the arcade game was, uh, it came out in 1989, which was, uh, which for, for, for uh, something like that was pretty graphic for a game that early. I mean, there were others, of course, but still. It was one of those, uh, worth noting kind of things. Punch him, Rick! Oh, right, I can't do the thingy. Ah, oh, damn it! Yeah, you kind of die easily, like, even... I know it's on normal, but still. There's a move you can do that, uh, sucks up blood to, like, heal yourself. Oh, yeah, and the checkpoints in this game is... Not the most well-placed checkpoints. So I'm gonna try and not die as much. Hang on, let me check my controls again. Okay, it was... It was mass modifier. Okay, it just won't let me uh, do the blood siphon and... Blood siphon move, that's what they called it. Okay, so let's try this again with 100% uh, less fail. Got it, got it. Uh, the beat-em-up mechanics are not bad. I mean, the transition to uh, 3D... It's pretty good, but it is a little bland. Well, okay, it's not that bland. You do get to do a few, uh, very Splatterhouse-like things. Oh, I killed him too hard. Oh, yeah, this thing, oh. Ah, oh, screwed up. Let's try this again. Fatalities, I just King Konged your face. Which is pretty cool, and it's uninterrupted. Basically, the finishing move you, uh, do with the, uh, do with the grab button, which is, uh, a nice way to, or a pretty good way to do it. Oh. Although these fatalities do get a little old afterwards, but you kind of want to get them because it just kind of gives you a little bit of a break and something to watch. And depending on the uh, enemies you fight, it seems that it's typically the same fatality. Uppercut. Uppercut, yeah. This game is awfully satisfying though, I cannot lie about that. And Jim Cummings' uh, voice acting really does, uh... It really does add to it, to this game, because it's, 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 he's just so, such a joy to listen to. From the journal of Dr. Oh yeah, you got these these audio phonograph thingamabobs. I don't care too much about it, I just want those uh, sexy photos. No, I'm not desperate, but hey, any straight man would go for those. Where, oh where are those photos? Where, oh, where are those photos? Now we got the, what was it, the crawlers, not the crawlers from Killing Floor. Um, the th those, the crawlers from uh, Resident Evil. Oh, wait, was it Lickers? I forget. I am literally just mashing the button all over the plate. 
Which is, uh, it's not very complex, but it's just mm, a little tad too simplistic. And you and you can already see, like, the upgrades. It's kind of, it's kind of very Dynasty Warriors, uh, gameplay. I'll put it like that. But, whoop for Splatterhouse mix. I'm gonna be very, very, uh... Not careful, but very observant of all the, uh, of where that photo may be. I might just have to go into the survival arena to actually get to, get the final piece. Oh yeah, the grab button is also to interact with, uh, things, which is a little odd, but I guess they wanted to have more uses for it, which is fair enough. Yes, I mentioned the camera was, uh, not exactly the best camera that has your best interest. Don't! Button mash because you are literally just gonna hurt yourself doing it. Yeah, there we go. There's the blood siphon, and I get all my uh, things back. Now oh, I think about it, I might have rushed through this area to get through that door. Where's my Jessica? Where's my Jessica? Well, so far it's the same fatalities for these guys, so pretty predictable. And I think you get more points for it too. Uppercut. Classic Mortal Kombat attack. Oh, I can't punch the face. Uppercut. Oh, same thing. I don't know, maybe I'll change it on a uh, hard or something. And you can't skip them, which... Actually, I don't mind too much. It is satisfying to, like, uh, kill them, because uh, these guys are rather very irritating. Oh, not gonna attack me now? Did I just burn? Did I just burn him? Go, go, go. Yeah, he doesn't, yeah, Rick doesn't sprint for very long, which is, uh, kind of annoying and just overall kind of annoying. Come on, get, get closer. Falcon punch! I was also gonna say, is this where it goes Fist of the North Star on us? This also has a Evil Dead vibe to it, too, so that's a thing. Yeah, 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 kill the Borums, get blood. Basically free XP that runs away. I'm pretty sure there's no projectile attacks I have. Okay, there's nothing in here so far. Couldn't I have gone to the other door through it? It didn't give me the option to do so, did it? This El Diablo guy uh, rips off our arm. Spoilers. Oh, it really was his uh, left arm. I thought it was his right arm. That blood splatter is so bad. Okay. Oh no! I lost my arm! I didn't feel it, but not until I saw it. I'm gonna... Hey, he gave me a hand! How nice of him. Uh, uh, you fucker! Come on! Get the worms. Of course, the boar worms. Oh, I keep thinking of the bigger boar worms from the original game, but uh, they were... They weren't uh, always that big. I'm gonna give you a hand! My hand! Well, that lasted uh, short. That handshake was short-lived. Oh yeah, another thing, at least you didn't have to see me install the trophies for this game, which didn't take very long anyways, but still. Man, I want something to drink. Oh yeah, these guys, uh, a slightly new enemy type. Slime him! Oh, what? I fucking... I'm gonna slap your blood. I also made a joke where it, uh... Where it looks like, the, like, cause all the blood is coming from their torso, I was like, Rick's gonna suck all the blood from your erection. Now you'll never get a boner. Cause all you'll ever be is boned. Uppercut in the face! Oh, I can't fatality him. Those guys have two different types of fatality. Yeah, that's as far as he runs, it's just like he just suddenly stops, I don't know why. For balance? I don't know, that's just kind of annoying. I guess they also don't want you to run through the game. I might have found a faster way to move, is by jumping to reset it. Wait, photos? Where's my photos? Where's my photos? Well, with the glowing ground, I think we know where we should be going after I go look around. Oh yes, the game gives you an idea of uh, what, what you should do, which I will do when I get around to it. But of course it keeps telling us as if we're stupid, and I'm not. I just want them goddamn pictures. Alright, looks like we have, don't have much to look for. Need to look online to see where the th uh, thingy is. Now while I do find the Splatterhouse to be enjoyable and, uh, and such, it's not that good of a button masher. Like, I feel like there are much better ones you could be playing. I want to do an uppercut. 
Straight punch works. Uppercut! Oh! Okay. Give me a hand! Oh, so satisfying. Yeah, I guess I'll also say that. Like, while it might be a little bland, it is awfully satisfying, though. Yep. Awfully satisfying. And, hey, it's uh, quite faithful or, you know, appropriate for a Splatterhouse game. That's the one thing you can't deny because Splatterhouse was always pretty gory and or bloody. Although, obviously, with uh, this game, they took out the horror-ish parts of it. I mean, Splatterhouse has... It has a horror theme, but it's not really necessarily scary. It's just more... It's it's more action-packed. Yeah, I'll definitely be uh, talking and reviewing this game, especially if the recording doesn't screw me over. But that'll require a full playthrough, which I will need to do. How do you recognize them anyways? Oh, God damn it! Get up, Rick, you pussy! I'll cut you in the face! Oh, come on! Oh, that's an annoying thing to get out of. Or grab to get out of. Come on, fist of the North Star punch. Oh, come on. Jesus. Like, you can't just keep mashing the buttons or else you just get locked up in the combo that you can't get out of, which is, uh, really annoying. Oh, no, you don't. This time, I win. Get over here. Man, if only... Oh yeah, I'm surprised, uh, well, like, uh, Mortal Kombat didn't get Rick into their game, because, uh, this Rick is very, very appropriate for, uh, Mortal Kombat. Ooh, lots of fatalities. It's ripping time! Who remembers that show? I do, it was weird, but, eh, wasn't bad. Yeah, one of Jennifer's, uh, nude photos is in here before, but since I already collected it, it's not here anymore. And there's my blood meter. Do I get something when it's full? Oh yeah, boss time. Jeez, come on, resist! I know she's a damsel in, in possess, in distress, but come on, resist! Didn't exactly quite find the guard to, uh, do much. Oh, come on, I gotta hand it to you. Er, well, no, that joke failed, my bad. Ooh, oh, oh, almost screwed that up. Never saw that fatality. I'm pretty sure it's, for the most part, completely random. Jeez, Jim Cummings, you sure sound like you're enjoying this. Crush his head! Skull Jaeger! Wait, that makes no sense. Punch you all! He's not one punch man, but doesn't need to be. Oh, you want your head crushed too? Now you listen here. You're dead. Come on, grab him. I was gonna say, the uh, blood absorbing thing kind of reminds me of a uh, Legacy of Kane, uh... Blood Legacy? Legacy of Kane... Blood something. It, it was a game on the... It was a game on the uh, PS1 uh, and... oh. You ain't throwing me on the ground and making me look like a bitch. Yeah, I apologize for the really, really weak commentary on this. It's just... I've already been through this and it's... Mm, there's not too much to comment. I gotta hand it to myself. I got you good. I don't quite find the block to work, but, e but then again, I've never been much of a blocker. It's... For me, it's either countering or, uh... Countering or dodging. Splatterhouse, the maximum fatality game. You press the wrong button and then you get stuck in that situation. You'd think these guys would eventually smarten up and, well, actually they're pretty stupid, so... Uh, but I was gonna say, let's say they, they were smart. I, you'd think they would be smart enough to get away from the guy who can literally just suck your blood with, like, needles coming out of his, uh, body. Like, that's, that's kind of creepy and disturbing, being able to do that. Although you do need to have a... Uh, bloods, um, a bar on the blood meter to perform that, so it's not like you can infinitely do it. It's just, for the most part, you kind of can. Because I keep doing stuff like this. Surprise he doesn't even, surprise he doesn't, like, drink it. Ugh, that'd be real disturbing. Er, in the face! Wait, I'm gonna need to grab hold of you. I assume if you play it on hard, it'll be a lot, uh, faster than you have to react to. Took the breath out of him. I'm gonna crush your damn skull. Okay, boss time. This boss is, uh... The, the boss of the first phase is pretty annoying. He's not hard to fight, but he, he has a bunch of moves that will bring you away, obviously, so that you don't just keep uh, hitting on him. Yeah, now they just start explaining all that stuff. Yeah, see, moves like that. But because I can do this, I don't need to worry too much. Okay, dodge away, because... Oh, well, I was kind of expecting him to, uh... Avoid it. Oh, yeah, that move. That move is, uh, cheap. Just for the sake of not... Just for the sake of, uh... Not letting you hit him. Okay, gotta press circle or X. Or triangle! 
That works. Fatality. Grab his head. He's got brains, which won't last long. Now we're done phase one. Of course there happens to be daggers. And this guy's and the doctor's creepy. He kind of looks like a, a weird version of a Dracula. Eh, definitely doesn't get sharp pains to the head. Jeez, can you overreact anymore? Oh, okay, yeah, that is kind of, yeah, creepy. Up chucker, you use an enemy's head as a... Hey, I didn't get to see that. Ah, oh, this game loads relatively fast. Better than Duke Nukem Forever. Yeah, I didn't finish chapter two, actually. Oh, camera just stays like that. There's uh, two alternative paths I think you can take in here. There's two paths you can take in here, uh, if that is what I'm assuming. Get up! Did he say gotcha, bitch? Oh yeah, it's kind of weird hearing a bunch of quotes that, uh, that, um, freaking Jim Cummings says. Oh, this is the part where... Oh, wait. Okay, I think I picked this one last time, so I'm gonna pick the other one next. Which is very odd. The, the, the narration and, like, the stuff they talk about is kind of... Well, so far, it's kind of odd. Bunch of high school-related things. I swear, this is gonna break my controller doing that too much. Uppercut! Wants slant him! Ah, gotta love the uppercuts. Oh, glad you like it, Jim Cummings. You don't even refer to the to the mask as the mask, it's just Jim Cummings. You're not you're not fooling me. <sighs> desensitized already. Actually I was already desensitized from before. It's just more like in the oh the, it's the cool gore, not so much as the horror gore. Or the wonder gore. Oh, you thought you were gonna get me, huh? Ooh. Getting uh looking a little red there. Not blue, not yellow, but pretty red. As in dead. Did the wrong move, I intended something else. Is this uh Hello? I definitely missed that. Oh, then again, maybe it might have been because uh, I went to a different door. I'm not too sure about that, because there's this other va- Oh yeah, because the first time I went to this valve. This time, I'm gonna punch this eyeball and see where it takes me. Wrong one. You are pretty stupid. Hey, it's called experimenting. And what do you know? It lets me open this one. Which would eventually lead me to grabbing the other two, not the other two, uh, the other, uh, uh, the other photo piece. Yeah, you, you, when you keep mashing the attack button, he goes fist of the North Star on these guys, which is, uh, pretty awesome. You've been disarmed. Very badly. Oh, and so, everyone at ANC quote-unquote enjoyed my bad puns. Seriously. If you need someone to break the ice, I'm your man. Just loads and loads of bad puns. Check the wall. Be more. Did it, did, it, did the audio, like, do a double take? Oh, hit it, goddammit! Don't let Rick play cricket. Hey! Hmm, I wonder does that symbol mean something? Anyway, let me upgrade myself. I don't have the mask open available yet, so I can't pick that. Ooh. I like that. That sounds useful. That also sounds useful. And I don't have enough blood for that. Yeah, I'd say I'd use that. Getting closer. Oh, yeah, certainly. I'll be sure to take the wrong one next time from now on. I thought it would be like an alternate path or something. That would have been uh, an idea. And now we play a side-scroller game. Give me the machine. Give me the machete. Now we're cooking. Oh, he doesn't say it. Oh, right, he doesn't do the ram attack if uh, you have the... A weapon in hand. Yes. Beauty is only skin deep when you lose a lot of blood. I'm trying to hit that box in the back, but it won't let me. Ow. Oh yeah, he just touches the spike. He just touches the bottom of the spike and he still manages to get hurt. Why can't I destroy that? Come on. But it is kind of interesting that they change the pace, or not change the pace, change the uh, gameplay just for a little moment. Like, even if it is, like, you know, brief, it's still kind of uh, neat. And I personally kind of enjoy that. At first, I was jumping through those, and I was like, like, what was that? And it's not until, like, after I dodged all the traps, it's like, oh, were those traps? That was stupid. Oh, see what I was talking about with checkpoints? Now we're back here again. Oh, now he says, now we're cooking. Bolts and castles, now we're really cooking. I can't go up through the door, so don't even ask about that. 
Rick, you don't have to keep spinning around for that. Well, Rick is kind of a wimp, so he probably wouldn't enjoy it that much. Oh, come on, Rick. You gotta take it slowly and carefully. Eh. It's annoying. Not much blood anywhere, so not so didn't heal as much. Still not getting hit by that stuff, not that I want to. Yes, it did. Hopefully would Are you fucking serious? I mean, Jesus. I did not have trouble with this earlier. Yes. Again, now we're cooking. I'm really not in the mood to fight you guys. Look, if you want to make a train parade, then go right ahead. I'm just going to keep walking. I would say the controls are not well set up, but it's not really that big of a deal. I mean, I wish it was a little better, but yeah. He didn't do the air slam. What the hell? And I noticed it was chugging a little bit there. What? What the fuck? Fucking pussy. Yeah, you tell him, Jim Cummings. What kind of fucking pussy can't jump that? I could fucking jump that. Parkour. Like, seriously, that's really fucking irritating. Like, what am I timing wrong? Yes. I don't know what I did with that slam. You did not freeze on me. You fucking froze on me! That's really looking good for this game. Yep. So, while I go kill my PS3 for a second, I'll be right back. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Just fuck it. It might as well end it there. I mean, in my opinion, from what I'm hearing of myself so far, it doesn't sound like the commentary would get any more interesting afterwards. Especially since you missed some of the better one that I did on my first time instead of my second time, which is this time where I'm trying to recall what I did say. So it's not as authentic, but you know, I kind of tried. But that is Splatterhouse for the PS3. It's also available on 360 and I think also on PC too. So as we all witnessed right there, the game crashed when too much stuff was happening. I'm still gonna play it. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, it, I do enjoy it. It is very satisfying killing uh, all those monsters and stuff uh, in gruesome ways and making it all bloody. Uh, hearing uh, Jim Cummings' voice mocking you and like cursing at you, calling you a pussy, you know, Rick. Not, not me, because I'm awesome, and I'm Wizwar 100. But yeah, I will come back to uh, play this game some more for a uh, future Halloween review, where I want to do a revisit of uh, the three Splatterhouse games, and this included, and just kind of, you know, just do my usual uh, schlick with uh, reviewing this stuff. So, that's the game, and that's Sunday Showcase. I hope you found it enjoyable. Like, I think this one is probably the weakest one out of all the... I, I thought the Eternal Darkness video was kind of weak, but uh, this one... Well, this video is probably going to be a lot shorter, so for once it's probably, hopefully not, uh, around 30 minutes. But I hope you uh, enjoyed this episode, however you enjoy it, on, uh, well, not Halloween, but when you see it on Sunday, and... Be sure to go to my be sure to go to my site lazyworkscreations.com to let's play gameplay under uh, Sunday showcase poll where you uh, can vote for the next game. Hopefully I pick a better one to comment about and or not have the recording crash and having all my good commentary go away. So until then, stay tuned for more. You're the viewers and I'm the showcaser. So, see ya. Hey guys, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want more than you can see here, be sure to check out my Facebook and Twitter for updates on reviews and videos. And if you want to help me out, I have a Patreon account. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my YouTube channel and join my Lazy Work Legion for more video game content for you to watch. Such as the videos I'm showcasing right now. Be sure to give a like and comment for feedback and check out my site LazyWorks Creations and River City Gamers for more content like mine. Links to all that goodness is right in the description or click the annotations if you're watching on YouTube.